Hi everybody, it's Coach Ali. In this series, we're combining training with dumbbells along with training with your functional trainer and creating bodybuilding sets in order to muscle you guys up and really get that fit and strong looking body. Let's get started. Starting this superset with your dumbbells, working some close grip presses. So make sure that you've got the dumbbells pressed together and then make sure your elbows are tucked in by your side so as you drop them down, they're just missing your ribs and working their way down. Now let's get into some nice deep presses for this exercise. Keep your lower back pressed against the bench so that you're not arching. And whether you keep your head rested or you keep your head up to engage your core, it's up to you. Then let's work our way to our functional trainer and we're going to work some low flies. So this is basically standing straight with your feet parallel at shoulder width, slight bend in the knees. And then when we're working the fly, we're pushing it down and getting our hands together. So you're going to get this inside your chest and it's going to feel like it's pushing up into your chest. Now keep the arms soft straight, try and keep the same elbow angle throughout so that we're not changing it to a pressing motion and keep going throughout the set. Your turn to have a go at this one. Okay, let's take 30 seconds break and repeat that last superset. You know what they say, third time's a charm. Let's take 30 seconds break and hit up set three.
starting this superset with a dumbbell pullover. So holding the single dumbbell in that eyelet hand position and gently dropping your arms into a horizontal position while keeping your elbows soft straight. Then we're going to squeeze and bring that dumbbell back up into that vertical position. So you can see nice steady movement from Coach Levi. To complement this exercise, we're going to work some stiff push downs with your uh, cables. So working one side at a time, we're going to push down with soft straight arms until you've got your hand past your body. So try and get it to your thigh bone or get it past it if you can. Try and keep your arms soft straight throughout this exercise so that you're really emphasizing your lateral and long triceps. Good use of the lats for this exercise as well. Your turn to try the superset. Okay, let's take 30 seconds break and repeat that last superset. Thank you. 
starting this combination with some dumbbell chest presses with a lateral rotation. So you can see that when I'm dropping the dumbbells down, it's a neutral hand position with the elbows tucked in. And then when I pull it up, I'm getting that lateral rotation in and pressing the dumbbells together. Now make sure your lower back is pinned against your bench and that you're well supported with nice controlled movement throughout. Then we're going to go over to our functional trainer and work some tricep pushdowns. Now you can do this one standing or you could do it kneeling the way I'm doing it. The important thing here is to make sure you minimize any movement in your elbow. And so we're pushing straight down. Make sure you keep your wrists nice and straight. And again, really focusing on your lateral triceps and your long triceps for this one. This is one of my favorite upper body supersets. Let's get you to have a go. Okay, let's take 30 seconds break and repeat that last superset. You know what they say, third time's a charm. Let's take 30 seconds break and hit up set three.
starting this combination with some dumbbell flies. So make sure you're comfortable enough with the weight so that you can keep your back pressed against the bench and that when you're coming down into the crucifix position, you're not putting excessive amounts of pressure on your rotator cuffs. And then it's a matter of pushing up, getting those dumbbells together and keep the set going. Then we'll get onto our functional trainer and we're going to work some cable chest presses. So starting with a heavy lunge stance with your weight on your front leg, we're going to pull our elbows back into what looks like a press and then pushing forward. Now you need lots of core engagement to keep you in place and great use of the pecs and triceps for this exercise. Your turn to try this combination. Okay, let's take 30 seconds break and repeat that last superset. You know what they say, third time's a charm. Let's take 30 seconds break and hit up set three.
starting this combination with a dumbbell standing press. So standing up with your knees bent and your back protected, your hips are slightly behind you and the dumbbell is starting at your chest. Now we're going to go for a horizontal push until our arms are nice and straight. So lots of work on your shoulders but also a lot of core control so you've got to really squeeze with your abs as well. Then we're going to retract nice and slow and again just keeping control over your movement. Now once we finish this we're going to go over to the cables and work some tricep kickbacks. So starting in that bent over forward lunge position you can see that I've got my forearm rested on my front thigh and then as I pull back it's a matter of just trying to keep your elbow nice and stationary and really focusing on your triceps. Where people go wrong with this exercise is that they swing their elbows around and also snap their wrists as well. So you can see in this instance I'm keeping my elbows as stationary as I can and I'm making sure my wrist is remaining nice and straight as well. Your turn to try this combination. Okay, let's take 30 seconds break and repeat that last superset. Thank you. 
you know what they say, third time's a charm. Let's take 30 seconds break and hit up set three. Starting this combination with some dumbbell front raises. So using the one dumbbell and it's just a matter of lifting with soft straight arms and getting the dumbbell to round about eye level. That's about where you want it. Now when you return, you've got to make sure your negative is nicely controlled and nice and slow. Very important to protect your rotator cuffs throughout this exercise. Then we're going to go over to the functional trainer and work some fly raises using the cables. This is a fly motion that starts with your arms low by your side and you're lifting and bringing your hands together. Now make sure that your knees are slightly bent and your hips are slightly behind you to protect your back. Really exercise control over your movement. Your turn to try this combination.
Okay, let's take 30 seconds break and repeat that last superset. Well done for getting through your workout today, guys. Let's take a moment to stretch and cool our bodies down. Now, remember to hit the subscribe button right here so that you don't miss another workout. See you on the next episode.